one. I would say it's a good day to brew, friends, but it's a good day for a deck tech. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Millsy back with Hometown Commander for an episode of Millsy's Deck Techs. This is going to be interesting because uh, for anyone who has yet to see my Millsy Brews series, it's a series where I brew decks live. Uh, by that I mean on a video for you guys. You guys get to watch me and my ideas for decks. Well, we're changing it up. This video is a deck tech. I'm going to go really quickly through the deck that I just built. We're going to talk about the strategies, the cards that enable our strategies in a little bit of a smaller form format. If you're interested in watching me brew the deck that was put in front of you, uh, talking about the cards I'm putting in, my strategy decisions, and what I cut, there's going to be a link in the description down to the full brew video where you can see everything. But this is just a deck tech. We're going to talk about the main strategies, how we're using our commander, and how we hope to win. So who's our commander? Marnie's Calgar, two white, blue, black. Legendary creature, Stardis Warrior, double strike. Whenever one or more tokens are in the battlefield under your control, we draw a card. And then for six mana, create two, 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 two tokens with a vigilance. So Calgar cares about making tokens and drawing cards. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can take Calgar, and what I decided to do is take influence from another deck that I have built in my personal collection, Alela Artful Provocateur. Um, I will be actually having a deck tech for this episode come out tomorrow. So when you listen to this, uh, my actual Alela deck tech will be coming out tomorrow uh, because it's a deck that I really love, and I'm pretty much all the way there testing it. So I want to talk about my list. But anyway, I thought, why not add her as a mini commander? Why not use her to our benefit? Um, Calgar, I think, benefits a lot when he's on the battlefield. We get all of the benefit from Calgar. But the problem is when Calgar leaves the battlefield, we still want our deck to function and our deck to win without him. We want to win with him, but we also want to be able to win without him. So what I tried to do is to put some cards and mini commanders in this deck. They're going to help us win when we don't have Calgar or when we have Calgar. Alayla is one of them. She's going to make us 1-1 one, one blue fairy tokens with flying anytime we play a enchantment or artifact. We have Kamisar Severina Rain, which is going to um, deal damage to our opponent, lose life, equal to the number of of creatures, other creatures we're attacking with when when she attacks. Or they attack, I bonus. This is going to be really great because we're going to be going wide and attacking a lot of creatures. And uh, we have creatures like Company Commander, which is going to make us tokens and give our tokens death touch. Uh, Monastery Mentor, which is going to make us tokens when we cast on creature spells. Nadir Kraken, which is going to make us tokens when we draw. And Grayfax, which is going to give all of our creatures plus O and plus O and Vigilance. These are the creatures. We're not playing very many creatures because all of our creatures are just going to help bolster up our idea of having a, uh, a token strategy to go wide with tokens, win with combat. Okay. So that seems pretty simple. You're probably saying to yourself. Make tokens and swing. How hard can it be? Well, we need to make sure that we're buffing up our tokens. So we're playing cards like Pouting Class, Intangible Virtue, Inspiring Leader, Glorious Anthem, Favorable Winds. These cards that are just going to flat buff our cards and stuff like Felder Retreat, which can put counters on all of our creatures. This is going to allow us to not only go wide, but pump all of our creatures up and make for great attacks. Um, we're playing cool things like Smothering Tithe and Rhystic Study and Black Market Connections, which are going to make us treasures, which are going to draw off Calgar. So, so we're, we want Calgar for that. We're also playing two really new co cool cards from 40k that I think are going to open us up for some fun. Biotransference, which says creatures you control are artifacts in addition to their other types. Same is true for all creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. And the flesh is weak, which has been narrows the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Creatures you control with a plus one plus one counter on them are artifacts in addition to other types. And then non artifact creatures get minus one, minus one. So this is going to kind of maybe uh, knock our opponent's creatures down a peg, but it opens up combos with a card called Time Sieve. Time Sieve is an, an artifact that says we could sacrifice five artifacts to take an extra turn. So if we're, we're going wide and we're making a lot of tokens and we're generating a lot of tokens through other ways, um, we can sacrifice those creatures to take a turn. It's our main combo with a card called 
Thopter assembly. It says the beginning of your upkeep, if you control no Thopters other than Thopter assembly, return it back to your hand, create five 1-1 one, one Thopter creature tokens with flying. So as long as we have six mana, we can put Thopter assembly down, get that extra turn, so, or or start that extra, start that first turn with Thopter assembly, bounce this back to our hand, get the five 1-1s, one, and have enough mana to put it back down, and we will basically take an endless amount of extra turns and allow all of our tokens to push in for the win. Um, if we have any of these cards that make all of our creatures artifacts, we can also do that uh, mainly with bow transference over the fleshes week. We can also do that with something like the deer crack. And if we draw enough cards or a myriad of other ways, we're also playing things like Frexian altar to sacrifice our tokens to make mana. And we have a whole lineup of artifacts that are going to help us push ourselves forward for mana. Um, I wanted to play a little bit of a, an enchantment sub theme, but unfortunately it didn't work out. You'll see in our sideboard, uh, maybe board over here, which is going to be still in the deck uh, link down in the description where you can see the deck. I tried my best to play an enchantment sub theme, but it didn't end up working out. So I decided to go with just a mini aristocrat sub theme with Bastion Remembrance and the Meetup Massacre. Both are going to deal damage to our opponents. Whenever a creature we control dies, I think that's just going to work really well because we're going to want to be attacking with our tokens. We're going to want to use a lot of our tokens for benefit. And so these are the enchantments that are going to kind of push through our strategy. We also have a couple of board wipes and a lot of removal. We're in three really great colors for removal. So we have a lot of it and it's going to do a lot of really good for us. Other than that, guys, take this deck. Do what you want with it. I think that's the goal of this this series, this Millsy Brews series, and this Millsy Deck Tech series in general. Take this deck, do what you want with it. My hope is maybe that this gives you ideas if you're building your own uh, Marnius Calgar deck. Maybe I put some cards in my deck that you didn't think about. And my hope is that maybe I can give you some ideas. If you're just looking for a Calgar list to uh, put a fresh set of tires on and uh, take it around the block with your friends, in your play group or something like that uh, i always recommend that you uh proxy your decks to test them if you have the ability to do it if not um just be careful with spending your money uh, i there's going to be a lot of people out there that just tell you to spend 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 but uh make sure that you know what you want when you uh, build your decks and spend your money wisely i just like most of you guys out there do not have a ton of money to spend in this game. I have just spent the right money over time picking up staples and that kind of thing that I know I want to use in most of these decks. So it's allowed me to build these types of decks. But um, test, 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 and build when you are ready. So please take my Calgar list. Do what you wish with it. Tell me what I'm how, how uh, you've improved it. Down in the comments below, I'd love to hear. Do you guys have any other Esper to uh, uh commanders you'd like me to build do you guys have any recommendations for cards that should have been in this list um, this is a really fun list and i think it has a lot of good upgrade points which is why i'm always going to leave my maybe board over here so you can see what i thought about see if any of these cards interest you if you can put them back in and uh, i'll have a link down below over to my part of me architect which is going to have every other deck that i brewed from Millsy brews and every deck in the future thank you guys so much for watching my marnius calgar deck tech just a little bit of an overview of what this is hoping to do. I hope that you'll come out and check over my brew video where I talked about it some more. But if not, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.